Tonight, the Arvada community is in mourning after one of their officers was shot and killed in the line of duty this morning. 27-year-old Dylan Vakoff joined the Arvada Police Department in 2019. Police say he responded to a large family disturbance of 51st and Marshall when the shooting happened. Denver 7's Patrick Perez joins us live outside the Arvada Police Department now where there's been an outpouring of support for the fallen officer. Patrick. And Brian, I want to show you the magnitude of the support that we have seen here throughout the day. You can see the dozens and dozens of flowers that have been left here on top of this Arvada police car. Sadly, this is this feeling of grief really is a feeling that is all too familiar in this community with them having lost another officer just last year. A memorial grows outside Arvada City Hall Sunday night. A water tower nearby is lit up in blue, all in honor of police officer Dylan Bakoff. He was always such a sweet person, perfect disposition to be a police officer. The 27 year old was shot and killed early Sunday morning by a suspect police say clearly had no concern for others. This is a tragic loss to this community, to this department, but most significantly to his family and loved ones. The shooting happened near 51st and Marshall, where Officer Vakoff and his partner responded to a large family disturbance. The initial two officers tried to separate several belligerent and uncooperative individuals when the suspect began to fire and shot a female victim. The officers and the suspect then fired shots at each other, with one of the suspect's bullets striking Vakoff, killing him. His service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. Throughout the day Sunday, people stopped by Vakoff's memorial to drop off flowers and pay their respects. Among the crowd, a childhood friend of Vakoff who was still touched by his kindness and friendship all these years later. To have the news that it was Dylan, so young, the same age as me, 27, it hit very hard. It, um, it caused deep sadness within us and we just can't believe it, honestly. Flipping through the pages of her yearbook, Shauna Jantz gave us a glimpse at the young man that touched so many hearts then and now. Elementary school, middle school, high school, a lot of fond memories with him. You're such an example to this community. And I believe that you have set a precedent um, for the life that many of us hope to live. For the Arvada community, Bakoff's death serves as a somber reminder of the sacrifice our officers in blue make each day, one that should never be taken for granted. I'm so thankful for what he chose to do with his life and the sacrifice that you know, ultimately took his life is not taken lightly by our generation and those to come. The suspect who shot Vacup was also shot during the shootout and is expected to survive. Police hope to provide more details about them tomorrow. As for Vacup's family, I'm told they did not want to put out a statement tonight, but of course, as soon as we get one, we will pass it along. Right now, the best way that you can support them is by making a donation to the Colorado Fallen Hero Foundation. That is the only official way that you can donate to the family. Of course, we have a link for you on Denver7.com. Live in Arvada, I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7. So incredibly heartbreaking, Patrick. Thank you so much. Now, as Patrick mentioned, this is the second time the Arvada community has mourned the loss of a police officer recently. In 2021, Officer Gordon Beasley was shot and killed during an ambush attack in Old Town, Arvada. He spent 19 years serving with the Arvada Police Department. Before that, Officer Michael Northey was struck and killed by a vehicle in 1979 during a traffic stop. Two dozen cyclists finish biking across the entire state today. They are doing it to raise money to buy bulletproof vests for 10 Colorado law enforcement agencies. Riders say after the death of Officer Vakoff, the rest of the ride that took on a very different tone. The loss of the Arvada officer today. Um, I'm glad we still had some riding to do. So that gave us 90 miles to really be here, not only for each other, but to really do something for the community and give a little bit back in whatever small way we can. Now, if you want to donate, visit shield616.org.